When the Russian soldiers who had occupied our house moved out, the Pinze family wanted to live there. However, the soldiers had decorated the house in black, ceilings, walls, and all. The family decided to move into the house across the street until the somber color could be changed. They watched a childless couple with two cats move into the bottom floor of our old house. The woman loved the cats as children. Soon there were four, then twelve. One day, one of them died, and the woman was devastated. After some time, she decided to give the cat a decent burial and dug a small hole in front of the house. Soon her shovel screeched and groaned. She discovered a metal box, shook it, and dropped it in terror. At the time, East German law stated that possession of arms by a German was an offense punishable by death. She called the police. Within minutes, a brigade of trucks laden with Stasi or state police officers and sundry tools rolled to a halt in front of the house. They discovered my father's gun and then feverishly dug up the entire garden, leaving great holes and mounds of earth to no avail. Over the years, the mounds flattened, solidified, and became covered with weeds. Over the years, the mounds flattened, solidified, and became covered with weeds. Over the years, the mounds flattened, solidified, and became covered with weeds. Over the years, the mounds flattened, solidified, and became covered with weeds.